see here, we've got the, the LCP, the local control panel, on a Danfoss uh, FC102 uh, frequency drive. Um, I have this set up, as you can see on the display. I like to set it up uh, with the top line like this, with the, the small readouts reading horsepower, the motor amps, current draw, and the RPM of the motor. And then the big numbers here will show uh, the, the speed of the motor uh, in hertz. Okay? Right now, this, uh, this is showing that uh, the pump is in auto. Uh, it is in remote, so it's being remotely operated by a uh, building management system. But right now, um, it's in standby, so this pump isn't needed at the moment. So if we want to adjust the upper limit of this pump, we can go to the main menu, right? And you can see it, it opens up and brings you to all the different groups. And then you can use the up and down arrow, all right, to navigate to which group you need to get to to adjust uh, a parameter. So in, in this case, uh, we're gonna limit the motor. So we want group number four, limits and warnings. I'm gonna push the okay button and that brings up a secondary uh, menu, all right? Motor limits, adjustable warnings, and speed bypass. So we want the motor limit. So we're going to push OK, all right? And it opens up to the very first parameter, 4-10. Motor speed direction. We're going to use the down arrow and navigate down to the parameter we want, which is 4-14. Motor speed high limit. Now you'll notice that this is stated in hertz, right, here in the U.S., uh, full speed for all of our motors is 60 hertz. Um, if you want a specific RPM, uh, you'll have to uh, adjust this uh, based on uh, what you think is going to get you that RPM. And then you can run the motor to that point. Uh, and then looking at the display with the way we have it set up, you'll be able to see the RPM. So let's go ahead. I'm going to push the OK button. That brings the cursor down to the digits here. Now you can use the right and left buttons to get to the digit that you want to change. Now using the down arrow, we can change that. Let's say we're going to change that to 55 hertz. Push OK. And now we've changed that upper speed limit to 55 hertz. So even if uh, the operator puts this into hand and operates the pump via hand mode, if he... Uh, adjust the speed all the way to 60 hertz, it will only go to 55 hertz, okay? In auto, um, if the building automation is sending a full speed command, uh, 10 volts DC or uh, 20 milliamps, again, it will only get to 55 hertz. Now to see what that speed is, uh, as far as RPMs go, uh, we're gonna have to push the back button, keep pushing until we get back to the main screen, now, in this case, I'm just going to put it into hand. Okay. You can see that it has uh, turned on. We've got some amps. We do have some speed. I'm going to move the cursor all the way over to here, and I'm going to adjust this up to 50 hertz. So now you can see the motor is running at 1,500 RPM. This happens to be a 20 horsepower motor. But we're only using six, a little over six and a half horsepower of that 20 horsepower motor. And there's the current amp draw. Uh, full load amps on this motor is 24 amps. So having these on the top of the screen is a nice little uh, diagnostics tool. So now if I speed this up to 60 hertz, you'll see the fastest that this will go, regardless of how, tr how fast I try to set it, uh, it will only go to 55 hertz, which was that limit that I set in that parameter 4-14. You can see here that the, uh, the RPM now is 1650. So if there was a specific RPM that you wanted this pump to run at, if you wanted it to run slower, you can just push the, the off button, allow that to slow down, okay? Push the, the main menu, and we'll go right back to that same parameter again. Push the OK button, brings the cursor down. And now you could, again, change that Make a little adjustment there, push OK. Hit the back button until you get back to the main screen. And you can see now, you know, 53 is our upper limit. If you push hand on, that motor is going to start up and it's going to go to our new full speed uh, setting, 53 
hertz, which in this case is 1,590 RPM. All right? All right, very good. So uh, be sure to check out Norm Hall's uh, Monday Morning Minutes for how to, um, how to balance a main pump using the VFD. All right, thank you very much. You all have a good day.